this lesson, we're going to create a query in Google Sheets that allows us to subtract and reflect the number of days between two date fields in our, our query output. So you can see in this example, we have a list of accounts payable due, and two of the columns are invoice date and due date. What we want to do is build a query that reflects the number of days between these two date fields in our output. So we're going to begin our query statement. Our first input is the data we want to query off of, which is everything in columns A through D. Our next input is our select statement. So we want to pull back columns A, B, and then the difference between the due date and the original invoice date. So what we're going to use is the date difference function and it has two inputs for the query statement. The first input is our end date which is going to be column D, our due date, and the second input is the begin date which is our original invoice date in column C. And in this scenario, we want to reflect a condition that says anything that has a due date that is less than or equal to 10 days from the original invoice date. So I'm going to copy this again because that's going to be part of our where condition and we want anything less than or equal to 10 days. The final input for the query statement is the number of headers we have in our data set, which is one. So I'll hit enter and you can see we get a list of all the vendors that have a invoice due date of 10 days or less from the original billing date. So you can see this header here looks a little sloppy. It reflects our function and its inputs. If we wanted to change that, we could. What I'm gonna do is copy this one more time. And after our where condition, we can state the word label, reference our column we want to label, which is the output of our date difference function. And then in single quotes, we'll give it a name. We want it to be called days left. That looks a little better. Now, one final thing I want to point out that's quite useful with this date difference function when you're using it in queries is you can <clears throat> also use the now function within it and get the difference between a begin date versus today's date. So the now function will return today's date. So we can put this inside of our date difference function for the first argument, which is the end date. So we can get the number of days between the original invoice date and today's date and pull back, let's say, rather than 10, Let's do five. So I'll do that and hit enter. And this reflects everything that has a day difference of five or less between today's date and the original invoice date. So that is how you can use the date difference function to subtract date columns in the query function in Google Sheets. Hey, if you like what you saw today, please hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.